The first Liberian Civil War ended when Liberian dictator Samuel Dole was killed. But now, there were two sides that vowed for power. There was Charles Taylor, the revolutionary leader in the first Civil War, who took power after Doe's death, and the Ulimo, mainly Muslim rebels from the Northwest. Taylor was not so different from Doe as he began purging government members from power. This started riots, and soon the U.S. Embassy in Liberia was destroyed. These riots didn't stop, and this led to the Second Liberian Civil War. The rebels band together and created Lurd. Lurd got a lot of allies unlike Taylor, as they got support from Guinea, Sierra Leone, Ivory Coast, the United Kingdom, and the United States. Guinea and Sierra Leonean troops began attacking northern Liberia, and the Lurd continues to spread. The rebels began spreading south, but Taylor's men held the line and recaptured Papulu in September 1999. In 2002, the rebellion continued to spread and the rebel groups from the south model began to rise up against Taylor's regime. By March 2003, Taylor only controlled one out of a third of the country and the rebels began to shell the city of Monrovia. Taylor surrendered on August 11th, 2003 and was taken to Nigeria in exile. Alan Johnson Sirleaf would become the next president of Liberia, not to mention the very first woman in all of Africa to become the president. And she demanded that Taylor be tried for war crimes in 2006, as he still remains in prison today.